Hello and welcome to Simply Nadu. I am Anne Benjamin. I am here in Kochi, Mullasheri Canal Road. I am here in a new restaurant and the name is Nazi and Me. So, Nazi and Me is the name of the name of Nadu and Food. What kind of food is there in the name of Nadu and Food? So, let me just break the uh, you know, suspense. And here is the food. It's basically Malay. Singapore and Thai. This cuisine is here available here. So, it, it, uh, they have like three or four restaurants uh, outside in, in India, in fact, in India. So, here is Kochi. So, we'll go up there and we'll go talk to the person in charge who, and he, I think he's going to tell us what is Nasi and Me. So, we'll go up. So, here I am and this is Ravi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Ravi. Yes. So Your name, sorry? Anne. 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 Yes. Pleasure to meet you, Anne. Yes. Hi, welcome to Nasi and Me. Yes. So tell yeah. me about Nasi and Me. You need to tell me because we have no clue what's happening here. I just know there is uh, three cuisines available over here. That's the Thai, the Singapore and Malay? Yeah, Malaysian. I okay. guess we're in right. Indonesia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're All spot good. on. Um, well, Nasi and Me, we're, we're really excited to be in Kochi. Okay. It's our uh, uh, fourth outlet, so we have a Nasi and Me in Bangalore, wow. uh, two in fact, and one in Chennai. Okay. Uh, and we've been open now about two weeks in, mm -hmm. in, Kochi. in Kochi. And yeah. really, like I said, really excited to showcase Southeast Asian street food okay. uh, to the Kochi market. We've been really humbled and privileged by the response so far. Wow. Yeah. And I think today uh, I'm going to introduce you to a couple of our chefs. Okay. Uh, I'll just call Daniel and uh, Arvin across. Yes. So this hi is chef. Arvin, Chef hi. Arvin. Hi. Uh, hi. Chef Daniel hi. Uh, from Singapore and from uh, Chennai. Yes. So today I think they're going to take you through a couple of dishes. Sure. I'm Chefs. all excited yeah, actually yeah. <laughs> to taste all, all of it. I think they, they're equally ex as excited. <laughs> uh, yeah. So shall I go into the kitchen? I'll I can't leave you in their capable hands. I'll see you at the end. We'll see you at the end. Okay. Excellent. Sure. <laughs> Enjoy sure. the cooking session. Okay, so we're in the kitchen of Nazi and me right now and Ibde, Chef Arvind Raja is going to show us something. So Chef, you can tell me what you're going to show today. Uh, today we are going to do a uh, couple of dishes. Okay. So starting with uh, the dim sum, okay. which is our fast selling, uh, yeah, item. it's right. a unique selling product of us, okay. the dim sum. So before we start off, is there any difference between Momo and dim sum? Uh. Uh, see, Momos is uh, actually a uh, uh, Tibetan name for dim sum. Okay. Okay. So it's, gen it's a generic name is dim sum. Okay. So a dim sum, even a fried spring roll is also spring roll, wontons, fried. Uh, there are different types of dim sums. Basically, okay. there are fried dim sums. Yeah. There are steamed dim sums. There okay. are pan fried dim sums. Okay. Okay. So Momos are basically uh, subjective to Tibetan. Nepal. Okay. So those basically area the they same call it thing? as yeah. yeah. So basically it's the uh, it's called differently. Okay. Uh, also like the method and uh, the filling is also different in momos. Momos, okay. Yeah. Whereas in dim sums, what we concentrate is say if we say it is a prawn harga. So the typical taste what you get in the prawn dim sum is the prawns originally. So dim sums are from the Cantonese cuisine. Cantonese, Cantonese okay. cuisine from okay. China. Okay. So Cantonese stands for the originality of the ingredient. The taste okay. comes from the uh, key ingredient of okay. the product. Okay. So so we are going to do a dish by name Hargao. 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 Okay. It's a very traditional uh, Chinese dim sum. Okay. Like you go any part of the world, you will get to taste the Hargao. Uh, say Singapore or Hong Kong or China or any parts of India. So this is a very uh, popular dim sum which okay. we are going to make. Uh, it's quite a difficult one, the foldings and things like that. It's very difficult to get the correct texture of the sheet, to get the correct folding. And that's why it's quite popular amongst uh, the yeah. dim sum section. So we are and going I guess to it's a more that. of a healthy option when it's steamed also, right? Yeah, I love it. You're right. Okay, so, so we're going to start off with it right now and... Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to show you the... Should I show you the ingredients who are used for that? Yeah, sure you could. Yeah, I'll okay. take you through the ingredients which is used for this dish. Okay. This is a wheat starch. 
starch. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not exactly the flour, so it's converted to a starch. Okay. okay. And uh, this is potato starch. Okay. This is a tapioca starch. Okay. So the combination of all these three starches makes the outer covering of the dim sum. Okay. And we have the prawns okay. for the stuffing. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have anything uh, too many spices into it. Okay. It's just the salt and uh, uh, you know a little bit of a sugar, a little bit of sugar and sesame oil. Okay. Chinese sesame oil. That's okay. that's, that's uh, about it. That's about it. So we will do the make the dough now. Okay. okay. This is uh, Chef uh, Tikaram, so Hi. he will make the dough for us. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, okay, start the dough. So we use uh, hot water for this dough. Okay. Uh, certain. Uh, there are dim sums which is made of maida, okay. where we use uh, plain water. Okay. Certain uh, uh, dim sums requires hot water to be mixed with, so to get the exact quality of the flour out. Okay. So, so he's mixing hot water. So it gets really sticky and very hard. So you mix uh, nicely so that you get a uh, uh, so you have to get uh, this texture. Okay. Okay. So this is always covered and kept so that uh, it doesn't get dried up on the okay. outside. Okay. Okay. All right. It's basically very rubbery kind of thing. Yeah. yeah? Very. Yeah. Exactly. Basically for this uh, dough, we've used three starch, that is the tapioca starch, uh, potato starch, potato starch and, and beet starch. Beet starch. Beet starch. Beet These three uh, ingredients are used for that and we use boiling hot water and made it into a dough which is really sticky and rubbery. Rubbery. Not sticky in fact, rubbery, it's, uh, very it's rubbery. It's spongy. Spongy. It's spongy. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's the correct term. So then now we have to like mix the uh, prawns, so we're going to mix it now. So the prawns are cleaned, deveined, and uh, it's cut to small dices. Okay. Salt? Salt, right? Salt. Salt. A bit of uh, sugar. Sugar we have powdered it so that it mix instantly. Okay. So lots of sugar. Yeah. So, Can you come so but when you make it, it doesn't uh, aja, really... No? Uh, When you mix it? Uh, when you see the final taste, no? when you taste it, okay. it, it's not so sweet. You don't find it uh, that sweetish. Does it get absorbed onto the sheet? It gets absorbed. It requires so much so that uh, prawns are mixed so much. No, it gets absorbed into the prawns. And, and we've added some sesame oil. Sesame oil also is added. So you mix it thoroughly to get... Uh, okay, so this is the... Uh, Stuffing which should be done into stuffed into the uh, mixture. Okay. okay. So basically, so now, it's mashed into something like yeah, this. Yeah. So a we kinda. mix it to, so that it gets mashed up uh, and uh, it gets uh, st stiff also. It's quite tight. The mixture is. Okay. Next. Next is making the. Yeah. So now. Uh, so I will just give him some space because he's going to be doing it on this wooden yeah. uh, plank. So yeah. It's going to do the sheet. Okay. Uh, even the sheeting requires a little bit of a skill to. Oh, yeah. It's not like uh, rolling with a rolling pin. Uh, normally, it is done with uh, this knife. Yeah, yeah. This uh, this is this is a clever which is used only to do the uh, sheeting. Okay. We can't actually. So this is not Cut sharp. Oh. Uh, so this is a little blunt in the front. Okay. So that the sheeting is done like this, and then scrape. With the cleaver itself. Okay. So if it is very sharp, then it cuts the sheet. Cuts, right? yeah. So that's why it's meant to be blunt. Blunt. Okay. That's a bamboo stick which he's using to apply. Right. Yeah.
So we will make one more uh, uh, dim sum yes. and then we will put it for the steaming. Okay, how much so time does it take? The steaming time is 4 minutes. 4 minutes? 4 minutes. Okay. So we will be steaming it under high pressure steaming. Okay. Water. And then we can see the end result. Yeah. <laughs> dim sum. <coughs> so now we have dim sum and we are going to like uh, steam it above this high pressure steamer. steamer. So yeah, we are going to keep it. Yeah. Dal do, I mean, what do. So at a time, I think you can keep so around. So we always uh, follow a timer. Okay. So so we set the time, and then we get back to the other wall. So once it beeps, then we know it's ready. Oh wow. So so that we there's no we don't fault on the timing. So to ensure it is properly cooked, that. and the quality is the same all the time. So timing. Uh, we okay. Right. So we're going to keep it there for four minutes. I think we'll see the end result on the table. That's where I'm going to taste it. So meanwhile, we can go into go something else. Dish. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we second dish. So he's going to tell us what we're going to do right now. Yes. So we are going to do uh, uh, yeah, beef dish. Beef, okay. Which is called uh, black pepper tenderloin. We call it black pepper tenderloin. So we, tenderloin is the cut of beef what we are using. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that the beef remains soft. Okay. Okay. So the ingredients uh, what we use is uh, the, the beef, the tenderloin, beef slices. Part, yeah. The beef uh, we marinate it with uh, corn flour, a okay. bit of salt and oil okay. and then we mix it for some time. We put some uh, ginger juice into it to tenderize the meat. Okay. okay and then we mix oh, ginger it. Ginger helps in tenderizing? Yeah, ginger oh, helps okay. in tenderizing. So we actually add the juice to it and then uh, it uh, kept for uh, half an hour or so. Then uh, we use garlic and we use the black pepper crushed, the sugar? salt, sugar some onions and capsicum. bell pepper, yeah, capsicum. Spring onion. And spring onions. Uh, soya sauce? Yeah, no? this is uh, light soya. This is dark soya sauce. Okay. So we will be uh, also using some sesame oil and the cooking uh, vinegar. Okay. It's also called cooking wine or cooking vinegar. Okay. Or, so now what we are going to do is we are going to fry the meat. Okay. okay. So if the meat is first fried uh, to say 50%, 50-60% and then the final cooking is done with the while the stir fry is up. Okay, fine. So now the, basically the main trick is you're going to do it in the wok. Yeah. That's where the whole, uh, you know, the thing happens I guess. Right. So for all the dishes, the wok is heated thoroughly. Yeah. So that will be around 360 degrees maintained in the wok. Okay, well the, once the wok is hot, then we put the oil. Which oil is this? Uh, this is sunflower oil. Sunflower, sunflower yes. refined oil. There's a piece on the on this. There's a piece inside the spoon. First is the pepper. Black pepper. Okay. So why we add this is it gets nicely roasted. Okay. And the flavor is out. Okay. Then the garlic. Garlic. So I'm adding the beef. Okay. Uh, and the bell pepper. We add a bit of oyster sauce to it. Okay. Add Hot water? Bit. Yeah. So this is a gravy dish basically. Yeah. Gravy? So it's not a uh, gravy as such. Uh, it's basically a stir fry. Okay. But it requires uh, some amount of stock into it. Okay. So to moisten it, otherwise it is too dry. Dry, okay. So it's light soya sauce. Okay. We add a uh, dark, dark soya, soya sauce. Okay. Uh, this is potato sauce. Okay. Mixed in water. Okay. So we use this to slightly thicken the sauce. Thicken the sauce. Yeah. Something like corn flour. Something like corn flour. The potato starch gives a shiny uh, finish to it. Sesame oil. 
oil. Okay. And the cooking vinegar, which I said. Just spring on, yes. Salt, sugar? Uh, actually, yeah, the pinch of salt can be added. Since I added the light soya, we, the light soya has got salt in it. Okay. Predominantly, we don't use, uh, we adjust with the light soya salt, okay. uh, saltiness of the okay. dish. And the oyster sauce which we added Again, also has salt. got salt in it. So, uh, that, that's it? Yeah, that's it. So, this is the dish. So the pepper, yeah. what is it? Tell me the name again. Black pepper tenderloin. Tenderloin. So that so is ready. And it, I guess it's going to be really soft because you said it's you It's going to be really it. soft. Okay. It's just cook. Okay, so Chef Daniel Chin is going to be showing us the honey, chili, chili lotus, lotus stem. stem. So when I talk of the lotus stem, there is a lotus stem somewhere here, yeah. Yeah. Sure. So this is what we're going to be cooking today. So yeah. this is the lotus stem. This is a lotus yeah? stem. Yes. Okay. So how we're going to do this dish is firstly we need to fry the lotus stem. Okay. So we have a batter or mixture of maidai flour, corn flour and water. What all? The corn flour? Water? Maidai flour. Maidai, okay. So we mix into a batter, something okay. like that. After that, after that uh, we will dip the lotus stem okay. and then we deep fry. Okay. After you deep fry, uh, this is will, what it's going to look will, like. It, this is what it's going to like. Okay. So this is like half deep fry. So later we will do a, a second fry again to make it more crispy. Okay. Next is the sauce. So how are we going to do this? Uh, make sure of the sauce. Uh, is which sauce is this? This is the honey uh, chili sauce. Honey chili sauce. So okay. there's a mixture of this. Consists of vinegar. Okay. Sugar, chili and honey chili paste okay yeah, chili paste and honey okay. okay after you mix everything together you become a, a mixture of a chili honey sauce okay okay so, so we don't need these right yeah no. that you don't need this okay. this is just showing a sample so we can remove this and then the next ingredient we have for the dish will be the garlic garlic spring onion spring and onion and, and chili, chili. Dried chili. And the salt if yep. you need? Yeah, correct. Yes. Salt for the taste. Uh, the salt will consist in the in the chili sauce also. Okay. So but of course you can add a bit uh, when doing the finishing. Okay. Okay. Sure. So what are we so going to start to, off with it? Yeah. So what are we going to do now? We gotta put in an oil. So we need to heat up the oil okay. about uh 180 degrees okay. because uh, if the oil is too cold, the lotus will absorb back the oil so it becomes soggy instead of crispy. Okay, fine. Yep. So we're going to again fry the lotus stem? Yeah, okay. again fry again to, to reach the crispiness. Okay. So chef, from which place are you? I mean, uh, I'm coming from Singapore. Singapore, okay. Yeah. So do you do the uh, Singapore dishes here? That's what you specialize in? Uh, yes, uh, actually I specialize in... Uh, I started with Western cuisine. Okay. Like French, Con Italian. Okay. Then I started to do continental. Okay. And I come to Chinese cuisine. Okay. So I realized that chef actually need to, uh, you need to know a lot of things. So you can create more dishes from different sides, different okay. sides of the country. Okay. Now the hot ice pot. Okay. See, the only fry in the chicken is with the corn flour, yeah. maida, salt, and the chicken. The fry in the chicken is very crispy and we are again frying it. So now we heat up the wok again. Okay. With a bit of oil. Okay. And then we add in the dry chili. Okay. Why we add the dry chili first? Uh, because we need to get the aroma, the fragrance for mm -hmm. chili. The flavor goes to the oil. Okay. And then we put in the garlic. Next, the sauce. The honey chili sauce. Yeah, That's the, the main ingredient. Sauce. Yeah. yeah. This one got to be uh, have a fast moment because uh, 
because there's consist honey and the wok is hot. So if you are too slow, it will uh, caramelize very fast. Okay. So your okay. honey don't have to, uh, the fire don't have to be very big. Okay. Once uh, all the lotus is being coated by the uh, honey stem sauce, honey chili sauce. Okay. It's almost done. So you put in the uh, spring, spring onion. onion. Okay. Do your stir fry. And then it's done. Done? Yeah, it's done. Oh, that's great. So it's a very Amazing. simple dish and a very simple starter that actually everyone can do it at home. Oh. So it, it won't be have a lot of it's And here we go, our honey chili lotus stem. Is ready. So, Chef uh, Daniel, thank you so much for showing us this dish. Okay. It's very easy. Yep. When you did it, it's very easy. But I hope it's going to be that easy yeah. when you try it at home. Yeah, everyone will think it's that easy. <laughs> Just need to get hold of the lotus stem. Yeah, of course. But seasoning, you also can uh, do it yourself. You mean you like uh, more spicy, more sweet, or sour? You can adjust the uh, taste for yourself also. Yep. Thank you so much, and I'm going to be tasting all these. Okay. Right thank now. You. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're done with the cooking inside the kitchen mm. and I'm sipping on some Chinese tea. Yep, that's right. That's what some he Chinese told me. Tea, yeah. Good for digestion. Very, very good. And uh, post a meal, uh, yeah, very good for digestion. So, uh, <laughs> so did, did you, you enjoy the cooking session? Very good. And okay. I'm really excited to taste it. In fact, more than the cooking, I think I love to taste the food. So sure. tell me about Nazi. I mean, I wanted to ask you in the introduction, what is Nazi and so, uh, nasi and me actually means uh, rice and noodles in Malay. So, nasi means rice and me uh, means noodles. So, we've got okay. quite a simplistic name, but I guess it's what's on the label is what we serve. Okay. Uh, me comes from the word mian, which is Cantonese for noodles. Oh, the food's already here. Yes. Great. Yeah. <laughs> This is a, a hargao, which is obviously um, a Cantonese dish. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, please, I'll, I'll have a <laughs> tiny bit. Thank you, Yan. That's very kind. You didn't okay. taste the beef. So no, I have to do it. I have to do it. Yeah, you're right. So you need to taste it and tell me how it is. Okay. Mmm, it's good. <laughs> so I will tell you the location. Okay. We are right now sitting in Nasi and Me, and that is at Mulasheri Canal Road, in MG Road. I think all of you would know that. And the timing, you need to tell me the timing. 12 to 3.30 on the weekdays, and then we have a break, and then we're reopen from 7 to 11. Okay. 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 And on weekends, it's from 12 to uh, 11. We're open straight throughout the day. Okay. So. And Kochiites have been supporting you a lot. Okay. That's great. So do come here to Nasi and Me. You know the location, you know the timing now. So do come here and taste all the food. We have all the South East Asian food That's cuisines. Right. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So I'll see you all next week in a new place with something more simply not until then. Bye. Thank you.